Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Claudio Sheep, and we are playing Command Modern Naval Air Operations. Uh, just last episode, we defeated um, a strike that was aimed um, against our force over here, Group Alpha, which is the combat group um, that is trying to reconquer the Canary Islands uh, down here from the Northern African Islamic Alliance. Um, since we pended off the um, threat, I'm also going to um, turn on, you know, actually, we don't need that, I think. And that definitely should probably be fine. Um, so, even though it clutters the interface a bit more, um, I think we do want all this information. Uh, especially the anti shipping range is starting to become relevant because uh, you can see down here, um, there's a group of ships um, from the. Ooh, that's very interesting. Um, from uh, the Islamic Alliance down here. And I think with this scattered information, I, I am going to do just this here. Um, and try to catch up with the um, submarine over here. Um, anyway, the strike here was thwarted off, so we're going to send our Hornets and our Harriers back to the carrier. And in between episodes, I had to redefine um, a couple of the um, birds uh, over here, and I'm going to deselect all reference points. Um, the issue was that I um, wanted to sort this out to, to clutter the interface a bit less. Um, but I accidentally deleted a couple of these um, reference points um, instead of just deselecting them and that meant a couple of omissions were uh, in disarray. So uh, that has been fixed in the meantime. Um, so I hope that that is going to be a bit better for now. Right. Um, let's see how things are going. Um, we have a tanker coming in. Uh, we have an ECM coming in. One tanker is, is going back and the new tanker area, um, I pulled it in a bit, just over here, so that our um, it's within the anti-air range of our um, secondary fleet over here, which carries um, all the rest. Um, there are a couple of um, helicopters, of course, over here, including uh, this airborne early warning, and so we're just going to be very fine. Um, the other bit over here, as I mentioned, um, we are starting to get into the range where we could probably start to throw missiles at each other very soon. Uh, and of course there'd be harpoon missiles um, flying one way or the other. Um, I would ideally like to time that together with an airstrike so that we can overwhelm them a bit better. Um, but if we have a look at our craft over here, uh, we can see that in Tourion there are um, quite a couple of um, planes that Oh, right. Um, there are quite a couple of planes that are still being refueled, um, so in about two hours we'd um, be able to launch them on another strike. Um, the bomb bombers over here. Um, we don't have that many um, anti-air um, configurations, although in Mahon there are, I believe, some more. But even here you can see that until we get to the next strike, and that would be a bombing strike, um, it would take some time. And if we were to um, get these guys uh, to get into a Poon configuration, it will probably take about six hours to just rearm them and reconfigure them, you know, get the pilots to to be briefed and, and that sort of thing. So um, right now I don't think it's overly realistic. Um, I think we would much rather want to do another strike on this um, airport down here so that we can disable their capability to harm us in the long run at least. Nevertheless, we do have, in, in the meantime, a couple of flights over here, uh, two Hornets, two Harriers, um, potentially with more ability to launch uh, Harriers from over here if we would like to do that. Um, something we also discovered last episode is that I believe, at least, um, that um, over here our Harriers uh, can't be armed in um, the Amram configuration anymore because we don't actually have um, any Amrams on the uh, ship over here. So that's a bit of a problem um, and that means that we'd be much more vulnerable by air attack so uh, we need to be paying a bit more attention that our guys over here actually do come over um, and provide air cover for us. Um, but it also means I think that uh, we'll have a much higher focus on this air base down here. And the one thing I'm going to do now is that this aircraft over here, this um, harm uh, configured aircraft is ready to go. All the other ones uh, need a bit longer, um, but I'm going to launch this guy um, and just uh, take pot shots at these uh, radar uh, installations down here, um, just so we can um, blind them off a bit more, more before um, actually going into um, an attack pattern. 
Right, um, meanwhile I paused the game, there's not that much um, to look at right now, um, again there's um, a bit of a fleet down here uh, which has different configurations, um, our guys over here should really just be returning to base, this guy's going to run out of fuel um, very soon, and these F-16s uh, I believe are just watching over this fleet, so hopefully they'll not be doing anything funny right now. Um, as always, there's a Hawkeye down here which um, has the ability to, to look very far and, and spot us very well. Um, I'd maybe like to make another dash down here um, just to just to kill it off, but um, right now we don't really have the planes ready to do that. Um, and I'd just like to make sure that these guys have landed before I launch anyone else. Um, we also have down here um, a bit of a situation where we do know that there are a couple of MiGs, um, more MiGs and uh, some attack craft, which I believe to be Mirages, um, which is correct. And we know that these guys are in fact crossed off. Uh, but it's been a while since we have spotted any of that. Uh, a bit more interesting is maybe this down here, um, the um, ship down here, um, which you can see is an anti-submarine warfare ship, and this weapon there is sort of a hedgehog uh, type weapon. And it's coming up again a bit. Very interesting. Um, and we have two submarines here you know, trying to close it in uh, towards that a bit. Uh, I believe the green pattern should be the underwater weapons and the light green the underwater sensors. So um, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye out here to, to see what exactly they are doing. Um, their situation is a bit um, shifting around. They, they do emit. Um, radar uh, detections, but I believe we um, primarily have them spotted on um, our other sensors right, right now. Right then, um, let's speed up time a bit. Okay, more boogies. What are you? 350. It's almost a loitering pattern over here. Um, interesting. But up here, not much. Not much going on. Um, our aircraft are pulling in a bit um, again, which is also fine. The Orion. Um, wait, why, why is it still to I mean, I don't want that to be the case. Oh well. Um, you are going home. That, of course, is very fine too. Heading to a fuel point. Um, that um, is actually not what I would like you to do. I'd like you to go home immediately. But I don't think you are able to do that. So, I mean, that's fine. Um, you know, you guys are very likely hostile. And the Hornet up here is launched. So we will tell you to go here and then sort of come in down here. Yeah. Alright, come in here, go down there. Right, lovely. Um, and I think you should be able to really do that. Um, your range is 400 miles. Um, well, maybe that's a bit. We'll pull it in just slightly. Um, because while we disabled this base operationally um, in terms of the weapon stores and the um, fuel, um, that doesn't mean that there aren't still any planes that, that are armed, ready and fuel and, and, and tanked up, uh, which could launch at any minute, but um, they're obviously not going to um, yeah, re reconfigure and, and be able to launch again. We're also hostile um, down here. We can see that um, I think these guys had a range of about 4 miles and, and practically a bit less even, um, but we'll have to see. Also, I'm not sure why they um, more new contacts. Oh. Okay. You know what? I don't like that. More Mirages. Four Mirages? I don't think we've seen four Mirages in the air so far. So. Um, Honestly, maybe this is a follow-up strike to what we've seen earlier, so we are going to launch another group of Harriers up here. I hope that they'll be there in time, um, and maybe keep an eye on, on things for us. Um, I'm also going to pull in these Harriers a bit more towards there, and the F-18s are going to come in over here. Lovely. Okay, now I think that looks good. Let's 
speed of time. What are they doing? Contacting Mubarak has been lost. Where's the probably one of these, right? I'm not sure why that happened. And I think soon we might be able to launch here. But we'll have another look at that. Look at that, all these contacts are we are losing them. What do you think are these guys? Where is our plane, our alien plane? Is it is it? Oh okay. So yeah. Our our alien surveillance um, craft has landed, so um, that means it's been a while since uh, they've been on the ground. This um, early airborn guy is going to come down here a bit. Maybe you can spot them then. I think the radar is on here, yeah. so I, I guess we'll soon be able to spot them again. Um, speed of time again. Yeah, I think very soon you'll yeah, be able to see them. Right about now, I guess. Ah, uh, maybe a bit later on. Yeah, let's make sure that things are going okay down here. Yeah, still looking good. Um, this drop over here, I'm, I'm a bit surprised. Still on a loitering sort of speed pattern though, so. Rian is ready at Mahon. Let's make sure that this guy is assigned to the right mission because I didn't know earlier. Yeah, yep, he is. And he's actually launching. So that's fine. Let's down here, it's surprising. Skunk. Who are you then? Who are you? So, let's send in our helicopter to investigate. That's altitude please, cruise speed at least. Come on, up over here. Um, it might just be a freighter, nine, nine knots, that's not that quick, so... We'll actually have to see. Although I do find it a bit surprising that we're spotting them so late. So, actually, you know what? Uh, let's see what other aircraft we have over here. Uh, warfare. Oh, um, and over here we need to make sure that these guys are properly. Uh, so, I think we'll want to ready with Sightwinders. Um, even though the other ones, um, of course, I mean, now that we don't have Amram's, Sightwinders are a bit, eh, I don't like them, but. Um, since we do need some air reserve, um, I think we'll be much more comfortable with um, just as many sightwinders as possible and we'll just try to mass attack um, if, if there's anything um, that we'd actually need to do. Um, we could launch this guy, but on the other hand, you know, this guy's coming in um, anyway, so yeah, I think it will be. Down here. Uh, we are now sort of within range. Um, let's just briefly check again. Um, I think the torpedo over here. Come on, uh, you have a speed of 40 uh, knots and 11 miles. And um, where as you uh, sort of, I think, went 30 knots at most. Yeah. So um, that means that effectively of our 11. Um, Miles, we have to cut off three quarters um, if you're running to the wrong direction, uh, which means we're sort of circle left at three miles practical range. So, um, yeah. More contacts, mobile, um, I believe that must be around here then. Yeah, they, these guys haven't been emitting for a while, to be honest. So, oh, 
So it's down here. So I think that's the eye hog here. Um, but that's fine. We don't actually want to launch that because uh, this airport has been disabled already for our purposes. <coughs> sure things are going okay, especially out there, I don't want to bleed. Certainly don't want that to be hostile. I think it's it's just a normal trade ship. Down here, um, still a bit beyond practical range. So we're not going to attack there. So uh, we, we are keeping an eye here on these um, on these strike craft um, while simultaneously watching this unknown contact up here and down there let's see right okay so we are spotting these guys again more skunk and I believe you are the what do we know about you? nothing really so but that's all fine I guess I really like you to be emitting something, but um, that doesn't seem to be the case, so... Um, I think we can actually put it on right now. More, more skunks being discovered, so I think we're rediscovering these, uh, this fleet down there. Uh, which is fine. So, yeah, still no location over there. Okay, um, that's not good. They obviously spotted us before we spotted them, uh, which is bad. And um, let's make sure everything else is is okay. Okay, um, the Orion is coming in. Tankers, tankers, stuff. Um, you are going back home. Oh, um, I think you are supposed to come in over here. Um, been a while. You are coming kind of down there. Um, all of this seems to be fine. This down here doesn't. Okay, they are turning away from us um, and been launching um, a torpedo. So the first thing we're going to do is fire two torpedoes at them. Thanks, speed. You know what? Let's actually um, make check what, what sort of torpedoes these guys have. Um, maybe we can outrun them. But the radar, radar um, set 65. Right, so let's have a look at that. Set 65. Um, here we go. Honestly, this interface um, no, I'm not gonna. Is it set 65, you know, 2. Not 2. Set 65. Uh, not this one? No. 65. M. Here you go. Ship. So I think this one. Um, it can. Hmm, interesting. What range would they be launching at? I think we can charge our run now. So, first off, let's check if we can target their torpedo with ours. Why don't we spot it anymore? Okay, no, no, we just did spot it. Let's see. Nope, we can't. So, what we will do is try to run away and speed and as deep as possible. Okay, that's going to be interesting. All of this seems to be going okay. Um, up here, I think we'll tell you to go as high as possible. Which is a bit higher, but which will um, allow us to see these radar installations down there much, much sooner. And I think this will have to be a manual.
not doing it. So, let's see. Um, they are running away, we are running away. They're going to beat us going both ways. Um, I think we'll actually um, try to launch a third one, which we can't. Um, okay, that's fine. I guess. Still no ability to launch that, so speed things up. How to be this going that way, there to be this this way. And we haven't seen them, but we do know that they are sort of trying to run away, so um, I think we are going to use one of our torpedoes to slightly off out of bearing. Okay, uh, civilian, that's good. Let's see over here, that should be... This guy? Yeah, civilian. Civilian, can mark it as neutral. Um, aircraft being ready at Tohon. We could check what that is about. Um, yeah, just air patrol patching, but I think that's actually fine too. Do you want to? Yeah. Um, I want more air cover down here. Um, you guys actually um, can turn the view right now. And can I turn you to return to base? Return to base. Um, um, that does not look like you would be able to do that. So I think you guys would probably be heading out to the tank over here, right? We're going to be under 12 too. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, down here, everything is fine. And down here, and uh, still the torpedo chasing us, and our torpedo chasing them. Let's see, let's see. The torpedo has turned on the active sonar, um, but I'm not sure whether it's actually seeing us. Yeah, engaged defensively. We do have another uh, submarine coming in over from over here. I don't think he has spotted us. He seems to be on on a on a sort of lookout pattern. And he's running at 45 miles, so that means uh, at knots rather, so I think he is going to run out of, of juice at, at some point very soon, hopefully. But yeah, you can see that now their pattern is, is, is going to spot us very soon. Um, I'm going to try to run this way, still at flank speed. Down here. Man, oh man. That topic is probably closer still to us than I was to theirs. What is it? 1000 meters? Is, is it, oh no, no, we are closer. I think if we could score a hit, that would be very helpful. And this guy is still gonna home in and, and trying to catch us, but. Um, and he's going to see us very soon because of the sun. What depth are you actually at? I'm oh, very, very shallow. We should probably dive deep right now. New contact detected by Seahawk. No bonds. I think that's probably what we're trying to strike here, right? No. Oh, that's good. We'd be seeing this. Yes? Yeah, maybe. More stuff down here? No, not sure. Okay, let's zoom in. And this is going to be... It's not going to be so close. So close.
we have to look at that a little bit. Range is not actually a good part. No immediate threat. Um, let's hope that we will score. Just zoom out to see how things are going up there. Right! Um, great, so that's a hit. That's very, very nice. Um, on it have been launched, so we can pull them down towards our fleet. Uh, you should be somewhere here. No? Ah, okay, so you should be up here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to send them over here to, towards the tankers. And um, you are fine. You, I think, actually might deserve some fuel right away. I don't think there's no one on station yet. Um, let's make sure that our craft over here, finger fuel, yeah, it's still fine. And you down here. I'm not sure where this... Okay, there's a sand battery, but that renewal very early. So the torpedo should be able to see us now, um, but for some reason it's not. Um, I, I think their pattern is more sort of in this cone. Um, so we might be lucky here then, in that it's soon going to run out of juice. Um, of course we need to be a bit... Um, worried about our battery draining, um, but so far we still have 15 minutes to go. Um, I'm going to accelerate time a bit here, and that looks very dandy. And um, of course you're still engaged defensively, but um, I think we can send you over here. And I'm going to go to periscope depth so that we can snorkel. I'm not going to put you on any other speed for now, but um, that's going to be fine. We're going to go down there again, and of course we deleted that pattern and this radar has been spotted. It's probably not here, it's very likely here, but you know, um, that's sort of uncertainty that you'd see. Commercial fishing boat, um, fine, we're not going to engage that of course. Um, you, you should be, yeah, very good on fuel. So um, this can be deleted, um, this can be pulled a bit more straight towards this, because these radar installations are very obviously very close to this and um, not over here. Um, and this battery over here doesn't doesn't matter in, in the same extent. Lovely. Um, and I think that means that we can very likely call this episode to a close here. Um, let's have a last look at this torpedo down here, um, which is of course running uh, past us. So I think we'll just accelerate time a bit here just to make sure that these is really um, out of range, and there we go. Lovely! Um, so a decisive action uh, saved the day there, and, and actually allowed us to, to sink another craft, uh, which of course is very, very helpful in this one. Um, down here, things are starting to look... How fast are these guys actually going? 12 knots. So I think we'll have to accelerate um, a bit in, in the midterm at least over here. So we are going to go on cruise speed um, so that we can catch up a bit and maybe launch and attack later on. Um, down here we are now seeing, I believe, that these guys are still emitting. How long has it been um, go? Yeah, so so that's very good. Um, we're seeing and that this guy has, in fact, um, picked up the radar emissions from down here, um, even though we're not um, seeing exactly what, what that is. But um, that's very good, because soon we'll be launching our harms over there. And that's very fine. Um, but I think that um, we'll have to wait until the next episode. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again then. Bye-bye.